Hi, please welcome to the part five of W CRM and Einstein discovery consulted exams. For questions one to thirty, please refer parts one to four of this series. Please subscribe to my channel. I am going to upload lot more videos in this series. So this channel is totally dedicated to help you with certifications. If you see the previous videos on this channel. It is dedicated to Microsoft Azure certifications, W certifications, and AWS certifications. So there are different levels of certifications that we have tried to cover there. So on Azure, we have these many content on this uh, channel. We have AZ 900, AI 900, TP 900. 201 200 so now this 201 and 200 is merged in 203 but in spite of that merger these questions are very helpful and then we have 304 and 30300 uh, series and we also have 303 series so this is what we cover in azure in this cloud channel you will get certification questions preparation guides for all of these certifications Similarly, on AWS, I have uploaded contents and questions related to Cognos, sorry, is AWS Cloud Practitioner, uh, Solution Architect Associate, and Data Specialist. So you can go through these contents, go through what has been explained, the concepts, and etc. And it will really help you with clearing these exams. So on Tableau, we have uh, Tableau Desktop Associate. This is something which is the first basic certification in Tableau. And what I have done is I've shared a video where I have put whatever contents or questions I got in my exam, whatever I could memorize, I have put those. Like if you've seen my previous videos, I request all of you to focus on the concepts. The concepts are key to clear the certifications. Do not mark the questions and answers. The chances of getting same or similar questions is very high, but the questions might get tweaked a little bit if you don't understand the concept you will not be able to answer those now let's move into the questions question number 31 so this is the question please pause the video here to read it carefully basically what it is telling is there is a dashboard and there are some charts and tables on that dashboard and you have a list widget this is a list widget you want to add it to your dashboard that means this widget has to be added on the dashboard now the question says what, what must be true for the list widget to facet the dashboard charts and tables using widget properties facet means it is trying to add value to whatever was there you had this and this now it will add value to whatever is there let's look at the options first option suggests they should all share a, a common name this will not solve it because just because these three objects have a common name that doesn't mean the same data can be leveraged or extended across so this is wrong Option B, it suggests that they should all share common dimension from different data sets. This will not work. These all three has to share the same data set. Then only this can add value. It can extend what this and this was sharing. If these two have same data set and this has different data set, it will not work. It is not an extension. It will not facet. It, it is not an extension. Hence, B is wrong. Let's look at this. This suggests that all of these three should use the same data set perfect only if you use the same data set then only you can faucet faucet means you can extend this capability whatever this chart and this list we're doing you can extend this capability by adding this so we got our answer c is the answer but let's look at this one it says this chart and list must have their own widget that is what they are saying it, this will not work you have to add a widget so let you can leverage these data sets here. This is wrong. We got our answer. Let's move forward. Question number 32. So this is the question. The question is simple. One line question. You have a registered data set. You have a data flow. Now, which node in the data flow you have to use to extract data from this data set? This is the uh, data flow to extract the registered data set let's scan through the options sfdc digest you can only extract data from salesforce objects you will have to mention which salesforce objects and fields you will use to extract the data so this is wrong 
let's look at digest see if you have to extract data from external sources like external salesforce org or external connection then you use this so suppose you have external data source like aws redshift is a database now if you want to extract the data then you use this digest transformation or node but in this case for register data set it is wrong wrong let's see about export see what export does is if you have to you have some data source for example aws and you have to create or you when you're exporting it you want to create a data file out of it then in between you will see a file has been created so if you see this part of the documentation it clearly says that when you want to create a data file or a schema file you use this so c is wrong this leaves us just with option d edge mart but before we try to see the justification let's see what can be this registered data this registered data can be salesforce it can be external data sets like aws redshift azure synapse snowflake data sets oracle databases sql server databases anything so if you see this documentation it clearly says use hmart transformation or the node for registered data set you see this documentation i have underlined this is what registered data set and these can be anything it can be salesforce data it can be external data or a combination of salesforce and external data also we will lock this answer and move forward question number 33 in a compare table you can refer columns with what a compare table a compare table is used to perform calculations it used to perform calculations compare table is used to perform calculations so if you see this documentation it clearly says it is done in an increasing alphabetical order so this should suffice our need easy one if you see this first option their names this is wrong because this is not alphabetical order it's not based on the names names means just a random example these are the names how will it do it on the names which names to give priority which names should come first which name should come last this is wrong so it is not done on numbers numbers means you know starting from zero to nine uh, like suppose one comes first and like hundred is in increasing order hundred two hundred so hundred comes first two hundred or in descending order but this is wrong so we already saw the documentation it is done on alphabetical order that means from a to z increasing increasing alphabetical order okay you see this increasing in alphabetical order so this is our answer and all of the above is wrong we will lock this answer and move forward question number 34 so it says which chart type is best suited to track progress of sales revenue versus target something of this sort so bar chart see bar chart is primarily used when you have multiple set of uh, dimensions for example here you have this data the this is more more prominently revenue so revenue is on the y-axis and you have uh, the time period on the x-axis and here what we are doing is we are showing the revenue for each one of these maybe uh, these are products or regions these are regions for each region we are showing this value so we are not you know this is bar chart is not used to compare to compare revenue against your target to compare one kpi against your target it is not used for that purpose so the next one is flat gauge and this looks correct this is gauge and what it does is you are comparing whatever your kpi is against your target so your target is here for example and then you are trying to compare you are at 76 percent of that target so this looks apt pivot table this is pivot table primarily the purpose of pivot table is to display uh, the, the data as much as possible in a summarized manner primarily used with a lot of fields there is no use of using this in this scenario where you have to compare uh, your kpi against a target so pivot table is wrong now after pivot table let's look at pie chart this is pie chart the purpose is primarily to look at how much percentage each portion comprises of for example in this case you see they are giving you uh, the portion of the pie based on the race the white race is blue they are 35.7 percent and so on this you cannot use to compare it with your target so we will lock this answer and move forward question number 35 a bit of a long question please pause this video here to read it carefully the story goes this way you have a dashboard and who are the consumers of this dashboard 
these three departments sales service and marketing but the underlying data set is same okay so what it does is if sales wants uh, these users want to say sales data there will be a row level security and if services department data needs or services department they need data for their purpose in the dashboard again to the row level security these dashboards will only display data which is for services department yeah so option a it says that you create one application for each department and use user roles to share applications so one application for each department each department will have its own application but what will you do with the data sets you you this this is not solving the purpose of row level security okay it says use user roles to share applications anyways user roles will be used but user roles based on the user roles what to be done the row level security has to be applied so that is not mentioned here so a is wrong b says create one application for each department put common data sets in the shared app and use profiles this is this looks correct but the last piece where it says use profiles to share applications we should use roles to share applications so the roles this hierarchy is used to determine the levels of access that users have on salesforce ox data whatever data we have no if you want control over it we do it through user roles see this website kicksaw this gives a very beautiful distinction between profiles and roles so what it is saying is profiles are mandatory and roles are not so in basically profiles will decide whether that guy at user has access to which fields and roles will decide that person has access to what records so we want records stuff to control no? so that's why we will use user roles so this is right b is wrong let's look at d so this one um, is the same stuff but what it's saying here is it will use the permission sets so permission sets are assigned at the user profile level not at the role level at the profile level so profile and permission set will give you access to or it will help you control access uh, for objects or fields not for the rows of data so c is correct please subscribe to my channel this brings us to the end of part 5 we will publish some more parts see you in the next part